Hey, you. Yeah, you. Did you just format the SD card of the Palky box? Want to know how to restore it? Then let's get into it. Turns out I've been right the whole time. I am just one dumb ass mother F. F. Mother F. In the last video, I told you three times while formatting or copying an image to an SD card to make sure it's the right card. Make sure that you know what your SD cards are. Make sure that you know for sure you do not want to format an important drive. So once again, make sure. Are you sure that you want to continue? Yes. Uh, yeah. I didn't do that. I did not no. do that. And I formatted the SD card for the Palky Box. Loser. Everything was gone. All the games, the MULX system, all bye bye. So it was a long, frustrating journey for me to get it back to the way it was. And I'm going to save you from that journey and help you get the Palky Box back or at least close to the way it was. Once you understand what you're doing, this is fairly simple. While trying to figure out how to restore the Palky box, I came across a video entitled EMU Elect 4.0 Install Guide from Team Pandori. It's a really good guide to installing EMU Elect on any Android TV box. He goes through all the steps needed to find out exactly which version of EMU Elect you need to use the boot file, how to find all that out. Now, even though I watched this video and it was fairly helpful, I could not figure out what boot file I needed for the Palky box after burning the image to the SD card. So I commented down here and he let me know that the Palky box is pretty similar to Super Console X. So I came across another video that has a restore guide for the Super Console X. I will leave a link to both those videos in the description down below. Now because the Palky box has an M-Logic 905X and one gig of RAM, if you head over to the GitHub EMU Elect website, this is where you're gonna get the image that you need to burn to an SD card. Because of that one gig of RAM and a 905X, you're going to want to stick to 3.9, version 3.9 of EMU Elect. You go ahead, scroll down, click on that, then scroll down again, and you'll find a bunch of links to different image files. Now, I stuck to EMU Elect MLogic.arm 3.9 generic.img gz you want to go ahead and download that the app we're going to be using later on to burn the image to the sd card might completely wipe the sd card and copy over it but just for safe measures i like to format the sd card and wipe everything off of it using an app called rufus link in the description now my suggestion and the whole reason why we're making this video in the first place is because i accidentally formatted the sd card for the palky box remove all sd cards all external hard drives, all USB drives from your computer, and just put in the SD card you're gonna be using for this. Put non-bootable in the bootable selection. I take away the volume label, just hit start. It's gonna warn you that all the files on this SD card are gonna be destroyed. Hit okay, hit okay. And as you see, it will format the drive just to make sure it's a clean start. And we're gonna to wanna to open up an app called etcher which you probably heard of before seen it in other videos you're gonna go ahead and click flash from file and wherever you downloaded that image more than likely it's gonna automatically download the image file to your downloads folder unless you have it set to download to a different folder you go ahead and click that image it'll load it up into the program you're gonna want to go as you can see the only SD card that I have on here if you follow my instructions you will only have one SD card in here it'll automatically choose that if you happen to have multiples you're gonna want to go ahead and hit change and select the proper SD card that you're looking to flash the image to and then you're gonna go ahead and hit flash hit yes it'll go through the process of flashing <music> Go ahead and validate. Once it's completed, this is what you should see. Flash completed. One successful target. Go ahead and close out Etcher. 
an etcher will automatically unmount the SD card so you're gonna want to go ahead and take the SD card out of your SD card reader pop it back in don't mind this just close all that out you go ahead open up your file explorer make sure you go to your PC what the f I swear to God man it's right there why is it not showing up there's always something for some odd reason after burning the image to the SD card the EMU elect partition wasn't showing up I don't know what happened I didn't have this problem every other time that I did it but this time it had to do it so what I had to do is go in the mini partition tool which is a great tool link in the description down below and the EMU elect partition was showing up here but it had an asterisk near it. I right clicked, I hid the partition, I hit apply, then I went back over here, I clicked again, it said unhide partition, I clicked that, and I believe it asked me to set a drive letter, I hit apply, all of a sudden, then it showed up. So if you have that issue, that's what you gotta do. Now we're finally here, we're gonna go into the EMU elect. What we wanna pay attention to here is this dtb.image file for every device there's going to be a different DTB dot image file it's the boot file that n your device needs in order to load EMU elect in the description down below I'm going to be including a zip file on my website to all the files you're going to need to restore the PAL key box what you want to go ahead and do because there will be a generic DTB dot image file you want to go ahead and unzip that file that you downloaded from my website and that file will be called dtb.image4xpro.dtb you want to go ahead and copy that to the root directory of the emu elect partition you want to go ahead and delete the one that's there you want to right click on this one rename it and just delete everything but dtb.image hit yes this will be the file that you need in order to get EMU elect to load now the next thing you're gonna notice here is you got USB drive D and EMU elect E if you go in here to mini partition tool again you're gonna see that D is actually the storage drive now the reason it keeps popping up as format is because Windows cannot read that particular partition because it's a Linux partition now what I did is I went on to my Linux machine and that's how I copied all my games and how I was able to access that you will also notice here that you have this unallocated area that is not a partition and in here normally if this this was a Windows partition you can go over here to move and resize and you'd be able to resize this and use this unallocated area but because this is a Linux partition you're not going to be able to do that now the easy way of doing this that I found take it out of your computer hop it into your PAL key box the system will automatically resize that storage partition itself now unfortunately after all this is done you're not gonna have all the games that were pre-installed on the original SD card if you accidentally formatted it or the SD card got corrupted but as you can see after you pop the SD card into the PAL key box the system automatically expands the file system and now your storage is six gigs still got the problem of not being able to access this on a Windows machine there's an app for Paragon software called Linux file system for Windows give credit where credits due. I actually found out about this app through ETA Prime you're gonna want to go ahead and download this app this app will give you a 10-day free trial then you want to buy it now the app itself is only $20 if you plan on constantly doing this and constantly reading Linux partitions on your Windows machine $20 isn't that much but I did hear from ETA Prime if you delete it and reinstall it it'll let you do the 10 day trial again and as you can see once you have Linux file system installed the storage partition has shown up you can head over to ROMs 
Here's all your game folders. This is where you're going to be installing your games. It's that simple. I will have a link to Linux file system in the description down below. Now, the one thing I do want to tell you about this app, something that I noticed after installing this app, I tried to format my SD card and it kept telling me a app was accessing it and it could not format the SD card. I uninstalled Linux file system and all of a sudden I was able to format my SD card. Well, as you can see, it's fairly easy to restore the Palkey box back to the way it was after you accidentally formatted the SD card. That's what this dummy did. Don't forget that after you put games back on the SD card, there will be no images in the menu system. You have to use the scraper tool. I will have a timestamp and a link to the last video showing you how I did that. If you guys had any issues or have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Sometimes YouTube has a habit of deleting very important comments. I don't know what that's about, but it's very annoying. It also, for some reason, doesn't show up in my notification bar. So I end up having to go to comments and YouTube studios, and sometimes I forget to do that. So please bear with me. I'll get back, as I said, as soon as possible. Don't forget, there's gonna be a review on that Alienware M15 Ryzen 9 laptop that I recently got. So if you're interested in that, you know what to do. As for now, I'll see you in the next one. I did it again. That's the intro and I tried to do it at the end of the video. Hey guys, instead of staring at my ugly mug, why don't you go ahead and check out one of our other videos? One, two, I'll wait. My busted face ain't going nowhere.